Hi everyone, it's Kelly here again, and you all have to excuse my uh, scratchy throat. Um, I have my allergies are kind of flaring up, but I did want to show you this. It's getting into wedding season, so I wanted to share this arch, wedding arch that my husband uh, made for a wedding of for a friend of my our daughter's um she's wanting the rustic look and he made one of these before for another wedding for our son's wedding so um she had seen a picture of that and she loved it and so he made this one for her um and so i wanted to share with you kind of uh how he put this together and then of course I'm going to kind of show you how we decorated it with the flowers and the colors of the flowers that um, this person wanted. So here I'm kind of showing you it outside. Um, we brought it inside because it was kind of misty, um, kind of a misty cloudy day you know kind of wanted to dry this out a little bit but this stands um, he used um, eight foot just uh, treated wood posts uh, for this project and so he left the two outer sides of course the eight feet and then he did a, a cross um, post um, dropped it down about a foot and then on each, um, at each base of the post, um, he used the same wood, but he it's three feet at the base. And you'll see here in the corners, um, there's like a, an eye. It's kind of, it's called an eye bolt, and actually you could hang lanterns from that. It'd be really pretty, and also you could also wrap these with maybe some lights. That would be really pretty, especially if you were having an evening wedding. Um, but he also used um, 26 inch wood screws for this. Of course, those two eight inch eye bolts but here at the bottom he kind of notched it out but it's the three foot and then he built you know those braces on there to make it sturdy and it's very very sturdy what I did as far as decoration um, she wanted some of the kind of the gauzy material so I found some on Amazon and these are 18 this panel was 18 feet long and I kind of just draped it over each end um, kind of draping it down in the middle and then I almost like made a tie on that one end on the left hand side and I kind of wanted to show you the flowers she was using um, now here I was just uh, playing around with some other flowers that I had, but actually we weren't going to use those. Um, I found some garland of um, greenery on Amazon, and I used two different types. This is just of a kind of a um, ivy, almost looking garland, and I also used garland that almost looks like a eucalyptus type of leaves but I just started wrapping it around and the posts and going across and you have to excuse me I'm just I did not know I was going to be in the way and I'm sorry for that but anyways what I did here is I just kind of started wrapping it around and kind of mixing the two different leaves. Um, here you'll see is the, I think they're like eucalyptus um, leaves, but I just kind of started wrapping it around and I use a staple gun to secure those. And then she, is her colors and her flowers, she wanted to use some um, kind of a peachy, and a white begonias and so what I did is I just kind of started placing um, the the bunch because they were coming 
in bunches um, and I found those also on Amazon um, but um, I placed the white ones up in the two left I mean the two upper corners and um, the peach I kind of um, blended um, that in with some light blue hydrangea uh, bunches so and I kind of tucked that in that knot that I had on that left hand side but like I said you could do this a lot of different ways you could um, cut the flowers apart and just kind of look like they're in the in the garland that's being wrapped around the posts um, you could also on each side or just on this side where the you're not having so much um, you know going down the post you could put um, you know a tall plant tall planter with some tall flowers or even a fern would look really pretty I think I think ferns are so gorgeous at weddings but um, and here's a picture of how it turned out and she really really like this and so I'm so excited for her and so if you have any questions just um, comment below and I would be glad to answer any questions that you have I think these turned out so great my husband built this in just a couple of hours so thank you for watching and you have a great rest of the day